you can hear immediately that when I mute the for the parallel vocal, the vocal sort of intelligibility factor kind of decreases. And that's exactly what I've got the, the parallel vocal for, is that sort of intelligibility idea that you're able to, to hear every word. I'm EQing that a bit. I'm automating it in the bridge because I want that much higher, even though I'm adding some effects on the bridge. The hooks, he's really meant to be part of the chorus and the background vocals there, so he's not meant to stick out too much. On the background vocals, I'm choosing to use a tube tech channel where I get a little bit more flexibility. I'm not doing anything, really. It ends up all I'm doing is using the CL1B. I'm also trying an R compressor, but I, I do feel like that entrance of these vocals kind of pops out in my ear a bit too much. So, yeah, it feels like that edit is a little weird. Yeah, maybe that too. It, yeah, it sounds pretty much like we're missing the B of baby, or maybe it's an M of maybe. Let's try to figure that out. Okay, so it's actually supposed to be hey there, and so we're missing the H. And that certainly sounds a little odd to me, but it happens all the time. There's not a heck of a lot I can do. So, okay, so I could add that in there. Take that H that's there, and let's put it on these tracks here. Make sure we got it. Oop. We're gonna need more, here we go, copy that. Maybe we should get that on a beat. And we'll go ahead and get that H happening here as well. See how that helps. Perfect. Uh, let's do the same thing for the lead vocal. Same thing. Let's get that hey on the, on the lead voice as well. Hey there, did you call me up? Perfect. Exactly what we needed. Now it'll bother me less. Let's listen in the track. Everybody's playing the game. What's that? Great, way better. So the lead in the uh, in the choruses again, he's meant to be part of the overall background sound. So I am doing very little, a little DSing. Again, I'm using the Studer 800 and sort of trying to get that analog sound. In this case, I'm using the pop setting because I wanted him to be a little thinner. Again, doing a bit of dynamic EQ with the Pro-Q3, and I can show you where that's dipping out as well. Let me demonstrate that a bit. But it's playing the game. What's that? Hey there, did you call me? It's just the attacks, and uh, we can solo that so you can hear that a little bit better. Hey there, did you call me? Are you lonely? Should I pick you up? A little bit of uh, our compressor as well. Hey there, did you call me? Are you lonely? Should I pick you up? Again, trying to keep him high in the mix. I've also got him going through the parallel. I'm not sure that's quite working at the moment. Maybe we'll get rid of that. What's that? Hey there, did you call me? Are you lonely? Should I pick you up? Hey there, got some money. Do you love me? You just try me on. I'm liking this, uh, this sort of answer. 
effects. I want to I want to try to get a little bit more out of that. I'm sending it to a de uh, decapitator uh, because I really wanted it to kind of punch out a little bit. Uh, let's see what that's doing with that. And then with really just pushing it a little bit, maybe a little bit more blend there. So I'm, I'm liking that answer a bit better. I just brought up the level and brought up the overall mix of the decapitator. 